forward to a good weekend and several of us are staying on for a few days afterwards so as the uh, video progresses you'll see what we've been up to. My name's Ollie and I'm one of this year's seasonal marina attendants. We've got a very exciting weekend ahead of us, with today marking the start of Falmouth Classics, which we are proud to be sponsors of. We've also got the Falmouth Sea Shanty Festival, which has created a real buzz in the town. Returning to the marina this year, we've got the Steamboat Association, who have been invited to be part of the Falmouth Classics for the first time. Well, we're all launched here at Mylor, waiting for the workboat to come. And uh, all good so far. Nigel's keeping up his reputation here, just uh, having a quick shine up of the polish and the brass and hoping to win a bit of silverware this weekend I think. Paul Braddock's here with the Maritime Museum motor launch from 1937. He's acting as a support boat to bring the cold steamboats from the slip over to our moor end. Sarah Finn's two minutes away, we're told, so uh, Paul will come back in a minute and nip over to the slip and get him alongside here. So, uh, all going well so far. Right, we're just off back with the launch to pick up Zara Finn. Dave Biss is on the way, so uh, we're getting there now. Well, there's our fins in the water now, right? so uh, we just get alongside her and Kevin and Gillies there and Dan and we'll uh, get them out on the moorings as well on the pontoon. Uh, we're on the way, the last one to get out, get all squared away. Suffering castaways, huh? Bye, Paul. Thank you very much. See you tomorrow. Right, it's uh, half past seven. We're all gathered in castaways, ready for our group meal. And unfortunately, it started raining. The first rain we've had for about two months. So hopefully tomorrow will be a bit better. Well, we've got our starters, the main course has just come out. It's all going well. <coughs> it's all very quiet, not everybody's eating. Captain's daughter, put him in the bed with the captain's daughter. 
Arrived at the yacht haven now. Plenty of space. We're rafting up over there, so we'll uh, take some instructions from the berth and master. All right, we've only been here a few minutes, and a big crowd's gathering to look at the steamboats. Looks like Kevin's found somebody to talk to up there. I think we're just waiting for Puffin. They were a bit later yeah. getting behind. Puffin just arriving. He's going to take an inside berth. There's Emma, the uh, museum boat there. The one we pulled out of a shed in Tavistock about five years ago. <laughs> Coffin's coming around to go alongside her. gathering this is one of the main stages for the event 
just had a word with Betty Stoggs, he's going down to speak to the steamboaters. Uh, yeah, it's all clicking into place. White rose to the pilot and Falmouth in between. <laughs> We are Modern Shanty now, but one of my absolute favourites. Well, the year was 1770. Right, Betty Stoggs and the Marine Band are over there now to open proceedings. Out now, over by the Lillian. Oh, yeah, the, the, the lady uh, has been in talking to us and invited us on board. So uh, we'll do a circuit and uh, see what what's going on there. Thank you. Right, we're uh, on board now. Everybody's rafting up here. That makes more room for lost old people then, doesn't it? Oh. This is on board, uh, just making his way in. You've got two ropes there, do you say? Granny's got the other one. Oh, okay. I've got a friend there. Dave's just making his way in there. Puffin seems to have gone on. Lillian. Built in 1916 in Sweden. Yes, the oldest visitors, and we've got some amazing photographs in 1920s uh, of yeah. basically on holiday snaps on board, which are just. Mm. Wow. And we've got lots and lots and lots of other photographs, we've got a whole set of original drawings from Stockholm Maritime Museum. So, um, yeah, and what you're seeing now looks as it was designed. But alas, not as it was built. Right, uh, Kevin's on his way. We'll soon uh, all be making our way to the Royal Cornwall Yacht Club now. The tamer, sea breeze in your face. Never made me touchy, Cornwall is a touchy. Robert Jones, Earl of Wisdom, Jones. When the Lord made Cornwall, Robert Jones, granite built with grace. Stroll up for street. 
pasty in your hand. Sour, sweet, and spicy, have a bit of nice some steam and make our way back to Mylor. Absolutely beautiful evening. Evening there. The sun shining and all the moored yachts there. Mylor over the other no not Mylor. Flushing over the other side there. Yeah, been a very good day. We'll soon be away. All right, Nigel. in the uh, tranquility of Mylor Yacht Harbour. Very good day, but nice to be back away from all the, the noise and people. Dan's just uh, putting Quetzal to bed, putting the overnight cover on, and then uh, we call it a day. Well, it's um, Sunday morning, we're uh, just going into Cafe Milo for breakfast, it's very busy here, uh, and then we'll be steaming up and off back to Falmouth. Right, Sarah Finn and a couple of others have gone already, and uh, there's three boats here waiting to get a full head of steam, and then we'll be making our way back to Falmouth. all ready to line up for the small boat parade now. People are putting numbers up and about 10 minutes and we'll be away on the parade. <laughs> There's Nigel with his pirate's uniform on and his long, long hair. John Barbara! <laughs> you really look the part. Well done. Thank you. 
we've com completed the parade. Just come back along the side now. And we're having a debate as to whether we go to St. Moore's or have a look around here again and make our way back to Mylor. So we'll see what transport is. I'll be eating a bit of Cornish ice cream here while I'm here. Don't know if it's Cornish, but yeah. it's ice cream. Yeah, that's all right then. <laughs> Definitely ice cream. It's all good fun. Had to have had a shot. All the way with Emma, taking her back to her uh, home up the Penryn River. And unfortunately, she's got me laid up. Museum now waiting for the start of the uh, presentations. Good crowd here. Well, we've decided against St. Moore's and uh, we've got into the museum now for the prize giving and then we'll make our way back to Myler early evening. The surprises over there all stuff out. Where does the old steamboat? Artemis. Well, to the strains of the fishermen's friends, we make steam ready to get back to my lord. Well, it's uh, Monday morning, we're all gathering over at Mylord Cafe at 10 o'clock and the, the church is just behind the cafe there so we're going to walk up through the churchyard and take the footpath and cross the fields to Mylord Bridge where Cockwells have invited us for a, a viewing of their work at 11 o'clock so it's the SBA Ramblers Association this morning to start the day. 
Right, we're just uh, off into the uh, churchyard now. Just uh, following uh, Mylor Creek now to Mylor Bridge, was at the head of the creek. Getting on the outskirts of Mylor Bridge Village now. Right, we're very close there now. We're uh, all grouped up together again. Beautiful set of gates there on the right with a big ship's wheel built into the gate. And lots of cottages with roses around the door. Very good indeed. is off site so that those that bit comes as modules and we fold those in and you know yeah. so I mean but we still as you can see bulkheads are still um, you know fully they're not just tabbed in they're sort of completely glassed in bulkheads and so forth so the quality of the construction is as good as you can get this is Steve the foreman showing us around working on. Range of products. Okay. Um, the G line is is you can't you know what G line is what at most super yachts painted in. Not all of them because it's the highest gloss and yeah. what have you. They have brought out a new version of one which is repairable. And this is repairable, yeah. but you got to go. You know yeah. you got to go through the so, systems and obviously it has work and if you've got down well we're back in my law for lunch and the uh, skies have cleared the storm clouds seem to have gone away uh, and we're topping up with water lighting fires and uh, on the flood tide we'll make our way up river and have uh, a meal in the pandora in the sea then uh, dan's uh, got steam up here and uh, we'll soon be away. Just waiting for Dave, he's alongside. That's Dan in charge here. Chris is just having a, a look at the engine running. That's in simpling mode, is it Dan? Yeah. Strongit Creek with all the boats moored. And we're visiting the Pandora Inn today, Monday. Approaching the Pandora Inn there, you can just see the umbrellas there to the left beyond the yachts. And we'll soon be moored up on their pontoon. Mike arriving with Archivist star of the show for the weekend.
Oh, we've got Pioneer here as well, the Tapers. Three steamboats on this side of the pontoon, and we're the other side, and we'll get some grub underway. Lots of people eating here now. We've just had a meal. Dan's uh, getting the fire built up and we'll shortly be making our way back to Mylor. Had the best of the day I think. Uh, he can't spare all that steam, he wants it for the speed. Lovely! <laughs> Here's Quetzal leaving the Pandora Inn at Rosanette Creek after the dinner this evening and heading back to Mylor. Right, it's Tuesday morning and we're waiting for water on the fowl and we've come over to the Halford now and we're at Gweet, this is the head of the river as you can see there's no water here either and there's Gweet boatyard there and there's a huge steel barge here and they've managed to get it up here and back it right in to the bridge at Gweet Amazing really we just had a very high tide. Now we're uh, walking around the boatyard now, having a look around. And there's a Dutch style barge here. Nothing worked done on it. Right, we've moved on to Halford Village now. Pretty, pretty little village. And uh, the river's over there on the right. Us looking out to sea, and uh, where we were earlier, earlier was to our left, uh, up ahead of the creek. It's Tuesday evening. We're just getting ready to go off up the river. We're going up to a place called Coombe. Uh, there's a creek that runs up to Coombe. And we're intending to have a, a, an evening opening up there. We've been jolly lucky. Uh, we seem to have missed all the rainstorms today that have been about. And uh, let's hope it holds for the evening. It's been a few thunderstorms around today. But uh, somebody's looking after us. Right, we're almost ready to go. There are um, pre cruise drinks going on here with Nigel and Barbara. And uh, Dan's just warming the engine through, and we'll be away up the river in a few minutes. Cheers! Cheers. Right, we're all warmed through now. A bit of uh, salt spray from yesterday around, some rust to polish, but we won't stop for that now, and uh, we'll soon be away. Right, Nigel's away, he's got uh, Chris and Adele with him, so we'll follow him off up the river. Right, we're on the way now. I expect they got the bar open in Holstein, I don't know how many bottles they've got through already. Our smuggler's cottage now. Uh, when we had the yacht, we used to come up here and moor. And if you 
Ketin Smuggler's Cottage. We used to get a free mooring, but it's uh, no longer operated, unfortunately. Just passing the party boat now. And it's a converted fishing boat. And they uh, bring people up here for a meal and a glass of wine and take them back down the river again. River steamer coming down. Right, we're just creeping into Coombe Creek now and we've got plenty of water here. Right, we're uh, creeping away up Coombe Creek now. It's the little hamlet of Coombe is over to the right. And immediately in front of Halcyon uh, is the tea gardens, but they shut an hour ago, so we can't make use of them. And uh, we're going to drop anchor and uh, have a bit of a picnic. And Nigel can drink some of his uh, wine and beer. Really quiet here. And there's the hamlet of Coombe down there. And the ground on the right belongs to the tea people. Picked up a couple of boys to save anchor in. Nigel's on one, and uh, we've picked the other one up. So our chief engineer is now our cook, and he's uh, putting the bacon on the fire with his long-handled frying pan. Did you say that? Have one of those wipes. Um, and we're looking the down the creek now, possible? back out towards the main river fall. Birds are singing, and it's a tranquil evening, so super job. Thank you. Right, skipper get first choice? No. Yes. Okay. And does have first choice? Right, we're uh, on the move again, headed away back to Mylor. A uh, very pleasant hour and a half here. The cook up with Dan and uh, a couple of beers and strawberries, so well repeated. Fire is made up. Got good pressure. So away we go. Giving away to the King Harry Ferry here. Um, getting very close, and he decided to move. So he's back. Let him go across in front of us. Right, we're into the marina without putting any more fuel on the fire, and that winds up a very successful rally, I think. I hope everybody else enjoyed it as much as we've done.